Please be seated. Greetings and welcome to the Spring 2023 Commencement Ceremony of College of the Mainland. My name is Dr. Helen Castellanos Brewer and I serve as the Vice President for Student Services. I want to take this time to welcome family, friends, honored guests, and most importantly, to congratulate the spring graduating class of 2023. Buenas tardes a todos y bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación de College of the Mainland. Yo soy la doctora Helen Castellanos Brewer, vicepresidenta de Servicios Estudiantiles. Antes de nada, quiero darles la bienvenida a las familias, las amistades y a nuestros invitados de honor. Especialmente queremos felicitar a nuestros estudiantes de la clase de 2023 que se gradúan hoy. Today is an overly exciting day and we want to make sure that everyone can enjoy the festivities. So I want to provide a few tips as we prepare to celebrate. First, if our little ones need a get break or if you need to access the restrooms, please feel free to exit to the lobby. Second, we have an exceptionally large crowd and we want to ensure for everyone's safety uh, that we make sure that everyone remains seated and follows the instructions of the marshals. Every graduate will have an opportunity to get their picture taken on stage, so please refrain from leaving your seats. Thank you for your cooperation. Hoy es un día muy emocionante y queremos asegurarnos que todos puedan gozar del día. Les quiero pedir su cooperación en lo, en la, en lo que celebramos. Primero, si los niños pequeños necesitan un descanso o puede, se ponen inquietos, pueden llevarlos a la sala de espera. Si alguien necesita ir al baño, estos eh, también se encuentran en la sala de espera. Segundo, para ayudarnos a mantener la seguridad de todos, esperamos que todos nuestros invitados se mantengan sentados durante la ceremonia. Les aseguramos que todos los graduados van a tener la oportunidad de tomar su foto en el escenario. Por eso les suplicamos que todos permanezcan sentados durante la ceremonia. Les agradecemos de antemano su cooperación. Please rise for the singing of the national anthem. Por favor, de ponerse de pie para el himno nacional. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight on the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the Thank you. Please join me in a moment of silence as we remember those who are no longer with us. Por favor, acompáñenme en un momento de silencio para recordar a todos aquellos que ya no están con nosotros. Thank you. Please be seated. Por favor, tomen su asiento. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce the president of College of the Mainland, Dr. Warren Nichols, who will provide the presidential address to the graduates. Me da mucho placer a presentar al presidente de College of the Mainland, el Dr. Warren Nichols, quien va a decir el discurso presidencial a los graduados. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Nichols. Thank you. 
Well, good afternoon, everyone, and we're so happy to have everyone here today to help us celebrate with our graduates. Uh, for the graduates, obviously, congratulations. You're going to hear that many, many times over the next uh, little bit, but it's all met with complete sincerity. So congratulations. Well done. My name is Warren Nichols, and I uh, do have the opportunity to serve as college president here at the uh, College of the Mainland. And again, on behalf of our board of trustees, our faculty, staff, we, uh, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to be just a small part of today's ceremonies. It is all, uh, all about our students, and we, we recognize that and celebrate that. And this, candidly, is the culmination of all of the work that uh, College of the Mainland folks do to make this day happen. So we're, we, are, we are so happy uh, to be here to celebrate that with you today. With us on the uh, stage are some folks that I would like to introduce. Uh, first are, are our Board of Trustees. For those of you that do, uh, do not know, our College Board of Trustees are seven men and women elected by our community to serve on behalf of our community. These seven men and women are volunteers, unpaid, who give up their time and energies to help the college serve you. These men and women of the Board of Trustees are responsible for creating the policies and the vision and the mission of College of the Mainland. They set the budget, they set the tuition, which by the way has not increased in over 12 years here at College of the Mainland, and you can thank our trustees for that. So I would like to uh, introduce them to you at this point. Serving as the chair of our board of trustees is Dr. William McGarvey. <laughs> Secretary of the board is Ms. Melissa Skipworth. <laughs> also serving is Mr. Kyle Dixon. Mr. Donald Gartman, and Dr. Verna Henson. We also have on the platform with us members of the uh, college administration, uh, Dr. Jerry Flieger, Vice President of Instruction, Dr. Helen Cassianos Brewer, Vice President for Student Services, Dr. Clint Burton, Vice President for Fiscal Affairs. <laughs> Dr. Lisa Watson, Vice President for Institutional Advancement, Executive Director of the College Foundation. Mr. Ron Levick, Chief Information Officer. <laughs> Dr. Carla Boone, Dean of Instruction. <laughs> Dr. Rocky Barney, Dean of Instruction. <laughs> and Dr. Chris Kimbark, Dean of Students. Also with us, and she will receive a little bit more of an introduction in a few moments, is our student keynote speaker and soon to be graduate of the class of 2023, Angela Way. <laughs> we would also like to uh, have a moment to introduce and recognize some very special folks that are in our audience. If you are serving as active military or a veteran of our military or in the, as a first responder, would you please stand and be recognized? Anyone? Military. And again, you can keep count of the congratulations if you want. Congratulations to the graduates. We're so, so happy you're here. Now, I'm curious, and this is the time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, students, graduates, uh, for you to tell us a little bit more about who you are and where you come from. So, if you are a graduate of the city of Texas City, 
Would you please stand? If, if, do we not have anybody from Texas City here? Hmm? There you go. All right, how about Dickinson? Anybody from Dickinson here today? Thank you. Lamarck, anybody from Lamarck here today? Santa Fe? And Hitchcock. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 374 students completing a total of 390 awards uh, today. Uh, if, if you're counting, they're not all here right now. We did have a ceremony earlier this morning as well. But uh, again, congratulations to our, to our graduates, right? Of our dozens of graduates here with us today, uh, we'd also like to take a few moments to recognize the diverse backgrounds of some of our students here. They represent every stage of life, and in spite of the challenges that have been brought before them, inside and outside of the classroom, that you have stayed the course to reach that final goal of walking across the stage. And for that, you should be proud. So, again, Students, if you are a first-generation college student, which means, for those of you that don't know, if you are the first in your family to have gone to college or completed college, would you speak, please stand? Let us recognize you. All right, you can sit down now. Students, if you are a parent and coming to school, would you please stand, our parents? Well, if you worked while pursuing your studies, stand. Impressive, isn't it? Impressive, impressive. Thank you. Sit down. Impressive. I'm going to get, get you up again in just a moment. If you are a graduating veteran, please stand and be recognized. Some of you already did once, but stand up again and be recognized. Thank you for your service. Tom is also very proud of a program that we created about uh, five or six years ago now called the uh, Promise Program, Opening Doors Promise Program. For, the, for those of you that are not aware of the Promise Program, what that is is any student who graduates from high school or is GED or homeschool who comes straight to College of the Mainland after completing that uh, high school degree, if they live in our taxing district, which is Hitchcock, Santa Fe, Lamarck, Dickinson, Texas City, if they come from one of those cities and they just completed high school, they can attend College of the Mainland tuition and fees free for up to 60 hours of college. Isn't that something? Now, how, how, do we, how do we do that? That's through the, the um, efforts and, and investment of resources by cities, school systems, economic development groups, and private philanthropy. And based upon because of their efforts, we can ensure that every student, every student in our taxing district can get a quality education at College of the Mainland without ever having to worry about where the money's coming from. So, Woo! 
I believe we actually have some of those recipients with us to, uh, tonight. So if you are a recipient of the uh, Promise program, would you please stand and be recognized? Anyone? Anyone? Please. Thank you. We also, uh, uh, earlier, I don't believe we have any with us now, but if we do, uh, please stand up in a moment. Uh, College of the Mainlands Collegiate High School allows high school students to earn an associate degree while simultaneously completing a high school diploma. What that means, ladies and gentlemen, we have students who are getting their two-year associate's degree and then they will walk their high school stage next week. We had 61 collegiate high school graduates. I believe they were all at us with the earlier ceremony, but if we have any here, would you please rise to be uh, recognized? Yes? Yes, yes, So this afternoon, we're going to celebrate our students receiving a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, an Associate of Applied Science and Workforce Education Certificate. At College of the Mainland, our students are partaking in a transformative experience when they enter into the classroom and they leave ready to serve and make the world a better place around them. And that's what brings us here today. Today, we are not only here to celebrate the monstrous milestones in front of us, but we also are looking forward to what's next for our graduates, as they will serve our communities well in whatever path they choose to take. Today, we're sitting among future health care providers who will dedicate their lives to healing and saving lives across our communities. Congratulations to our three graduates who have earned a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. We also, <laughs> congratulations. We also have future pharmacy technicians, process operators, nurses, welders, graphic designers, and so much more. Congratulations to the 97 graduates who have earned an Associate of Applied Science degree. Today, we're also amongst our future cosmetologists, first responders, medical assistants, and more. Congratulations to the 94 graduates who have earned a workforce education certificate. We acknowledge our students' hard work and their staunch determination that it took to reach this special place. But we know as hard as it has been for our students, as hard as they have worked to get here today, we know that they were not alone in making that possible. We have a few that we would like to recognize that help you make this journey possible. Our faculty and staff who worked with you throughout your process are here with us today. I would have them stand up and be recognized. Our faculty and staff of College of the Mainland, please stand up and be recognized. We also have people up there that are looking down on you, probably telling you your tie's not on straight or your hair's not quite right, but they're the ones who, uh, who took care of you during the whole, whole time, right? So why don't, ladies, students, why don't you stand, wave to your loved ones and tell them thank you, thank you, please. <clears throat> You heard me, uh, uh, you heard me uh, 
detailed our, our uh, trustees a moment ago, I would, uh, I'm going to invite the chairman of the board of our trustees, Dr. William McGarvey, to come forward uh, with a few remarks. Dr. McGarvey. Thank you, Dr. Nichols. Good afternoon. I'm Bill McGarvey, and I have the pleasure of serving as chair of the College of the Mainland Board of Trustees. On behalf of the board, I'd like to welcome everyone to College of the Mainland's commencement ceremony. This is our opportunity to recognize and celebrate our spring 2023 graduates. And to our graduates, congratulations. You did it, and we are so happy for you. In, gra in graduating, you have achieved a significant accomplishment, one of many more that are sure to follow in the very bright future ahead of you. You have every right to be proud of what you have achieved and how you have achieved it. You made this your goal, a goal that you truly wanted and were willing to work hard for, a goal that you would not let anyone or anything deter you from achieving. Remember how you did this, because this is the recipe for success that you can use to achieve your future endeavors. Also, I want to thank you for allowing College of the Mainland to be a part of your path to success. And although we may have participated in just one step in the path, it's an important step because it enables the steps that will follow. Our college's mission is student success, and that is why it is so gratifying to see all of you here today. Your success is our success. You are the reason that we are here. You make our work worthwhile. Graduates, you make us proud. Thank you. And, and please welcome Dr. Helen Brewer back to the stage. Thank you. Thank you so much. The following names I'm about to introduce represent the spring 2023 graduating student club officers who volunteer their time to serve in leadership roles in several student organizations on campus. We appreciate your service and we want to recognize you for your accomplishments. Please hold your applause until I've completed the list of names. A continuación, vamos a reconocer a los líderes estudiantiles que se graduan hoy. Phi Theta Kappa, Catherine Bryan, Vice President of Fellowship. Carrie Cobb, Vice President of Leadership. Autumn Chambliss, Secretary in Public Relations. Student Government Association, Paloma Ayala, President. Daniela Artega, Vice President. Philip De La Cruz, Parliamentarian. Carolina Camarago Alvarez, Secretary. Community Engagement Club, Elias Ramirez, President. Mental Health Matters Clubs, Madeline Shaw, President. Catherine Bryan, Representative for SGA. Minority Men for Excellence, Mia Avery, Officer. Drew Rogers, Officer. New Sai, Emily Buras, President. Naomi Boatman, Vice President. Chloe Porsche, Secretary. Wyatt Brazier, Senior Class Representative. PTEC Club, Cole Thrash, Vice President. Marcus Pinnell, Secretary. Jonathan Payne, Treasurer. Matthew Ureta, Job Listing. Science Club. Me Megan Kanakati, President. Cecia Kubia, Secretary. Madeline Shaw, Social Media Manager. Sickle Cell Club, Mavalyn Lucas, Assistant Secretary, Chloe Porchot, Se Treasurer, Megan Kanachkudi, Social Media Coordinator. Students for Christ, Isabel Wilson, President, Autumn Chambliss, Treasurer, Chloe Porchot, Representative for SGA. Texas Nursing Student Association, Stacy Flowers, President, Michelle Chapa, Vice President, Shannon Corson, Historian, Raven Toller, Treasurer, Carter Cole, representative for SGA, and Veterans Organization, Mavelyn Lucas, treasurer. Please join me in congratulating these students.
And now we come to the part of the ceremony when we recognize and celebrate the ultimate accomplishments of our students, the successful completion of their educational goals and dreams, at least up to this point in your lives. We will begin by hearing from one of our candidates. I would like to invite Ellen Chicon, cosmetology instructor to the stage, to introduce today's keynote speaker. Ahora escucharemos a la profesora Ellen Chicon, maestra del programa de cosmetología, presentarles a la estudiante que pronunciará el discurso de los estudiantes graduados. Ellen Chicon. Hi. Good afternoon. My name is Ellen Chicon. I'm one of the adjunct faculty for the cosmetology department here at College of the Mainland. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the keynote speaker for uh, 2023 uh, commencement ceremony. After enjoying 30 successful years as a stylist and salon manager, Angela Way decided to begin the cosmetology instructor program, excuse me, in the fall of 2022. It was an honor to teach Angela during her studies. She is talented, knowledgeable, articulate, motivational, caring, energetic, enthusiastic, and excited about future possibilities as a cosmetology educator. I am thankful she chose Calm to pursue her career path. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Angela Way to the stage. Welcome class 2023. We made it. It feels really good to be here, right? It's such a big deal for all of us. And uh, am I the only one that gets teary-eyed during the pomp and circumstance song? Yes, I have uh, officially turned into my mother. Now she's laughing at me because I used to laugh at her every time she would cry at commercials. I get it now. Totally. My name is Angela Way, and I'm extremely honored to be a class speaker for this graduation ceremony. I'd like to begin by thanking the College of the Mainland's Board of Trustees and President Nichols for this opportunity. You know, um, I just saw President Nichols at the Flock the Block Festival on campus. It was in March, and um, he was just mingling with people, acting like a normal, regular dude and wearing the same blue t-shirt that we all had on. And uh, he was just being friendly and uh, keeping everyone hydrated. So uh, I would call him a class act. I didn't even know, you know? Since I've been in this program, I've had the pleasure of getting to know some of my instructors um, in the cosmetology department that have made a huge impact on my life. Ms. Hunsucker, Ms. Edmondson, Ms. Darden, Ms. Davis, Ms. Massey, Mr. Lewis, and of course, our fearless leader, Ms. Ellen Chacon, who led our class with knowledge, patience, and the utmost poise. I say on behalf of the student instructors, you outdid yourself and prepared us all to teach cosmetology with wisdom, confidence, and grace. I thank you. So this celebration recognizes and champions all of you for staying the course and never giving up. That cap and gown you have on, the associate's degree, nursing degree, GED, certificate of any kind, it represents all the hard work, the sweat, the tears, the long nights staying up, just to achieve something great. And you did it. So be proud, stand tall, because you've earned it. Most of you might be wondering why I'm here. I'm graduating with a cosmetology instructor's certificate, and I will complete the requirements for my associate's degree in July. So here's a fun fact. I started taking college classes in 1990. Yeah, so most of you weren't even born yet. It's cool. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't finish at the time, 
But I got married, had two kids soon after divorce, so life just happened. Um, after raising my sons, I decided to do something that had honestly been a thorn in my side for all these years. I came back to school to finish this two-year degree. So I ask you, is there an award for taking 33 years to accomplish a two-year degree? Hey, better late than never, right? That's right. <laughs> Thank you. I have to say, I'm thrilled to teach cosmetology to students who aspire to be hairdressers. I've been a hairdresser for 33 years. Times have changed, techniques are updated with knowledge at our fingertips with social media. The hair industry is constantly growing. The more people that post these how-to videos on how to cut and color their own hair, the more money I make as a stylist. <laughs> color correction is not cheap, and it shouldn't be. Time is money, guys. Hairstylists can't be replaced with DIY videos, and cosmetology instructors can't be replaced with YouTube or TikTok. We are essential. We are here to stay. Don't let anyone tell you differently. If you know anyone that's interested in becoming a hairdresser or a cosmetology instructor, College of the Mainland is the place to learn and make that happen. I want to share with you my story of how I got here. So I'm the youngest of seven kids, all girls. We lived uh, in a somewhat unfortunate situation, household. Uh, I learned at a very young age that I, if I wanted more, I'm going to have to work really hard for it. I traveled through my childhood and my teenage years through trial and error. Yes, I tried everything once and twice if I liked it. <laughs> I didn't have monetary things to offer my friends like a cool car or money, but what I did have was quick wit, friendship, and loyalty. Those things are free. Laughter kept me sane. I may have grown up in a world of disappointment, but once I left that house, my life changed forever. I never looked back. I knew that I was not going to repeat history with my own sons. The silver lining of coming from a large family is that I had six older sisters that were the best sisters any girl could ever wish for. They were my mentors, my protectors. They taught me about life. We knew music. I knew all about the Rolling Stones, Van Halen, ACDC, and I could sing every word to every Beatles song by the fifth grade. Hmm. Humor came in handy, and having a quick wit being the youngest was purely a survival tactic. I learned how to act like a lady and hold my head high, regardless of what I had dealt with. I wanted to be just like them. They were my cheerleaders, and it didn't matter what I wanted to do, they always had faith in me. I wouldn't be here today without them. Sisters, I love you, and it means a lot to me that I'm 53 years old and you're still cheering me on. As for my kiddos, thank you. As for my kiddos, Tinny and Jack, I love you guys. Being your mom made me a stronger woman than I ever thought I could ever be. A little side note, my oldest son and I will both graduate a week apart from a junior college. That's super cool. Boys, I hope that you are as proud of me as I am of you. So graduates, I ask you, who was your cheerleader? Who cheered you guys on? Was it a parent, a teacher, a coach, an aunt, an uncle? Was it a grandparent or a guardian? Whomever it was. Thank them. Show them gratitude. Let them know that they are the reason you kept going. They need to hear it. And who will you mentor? How will you pay it forward? It's as simple as a smile and a few words of affirmation. Sometimes all it takes to make a difference in somebody's life is letting them know that you're proud of them. They might need a cheerleader, someone rooting for them, of course, we all have a laundry list of things that we don't have, a list of unfortunate situations that we have endured, whether it was poverty, 
death, having your parents incarcerated, look, those things are tough, and they're going to change your life forever. However, that's the past. We can't change it. All we can do is work on our future. So a few things I'd like to leave you all with. Lend a hand when people need you. Don't look for instant gratification when helping others. Just do it. The more you give, the more you receive. That's a fact. Stay focused. Don't lose sight of a better life because of the life you came from. If anything, do it in spite of. And let this one set in. It's not what you say to people. It's how you say it. And what they're going to remember is how you made them feel. So be kind. As I close, I ask you to be someone's hero. Cheer them on and be the reason they reach their goals. I say to my fellow student instructors and the entire class of 2023, good luck, congratulations, and thank you for letting me be your cheerleader today. Thank you, Angela. That was awesome. I love to hear from students about how earning a degree or certificate means so much to them. Let's watch a quick video of some of our calm graduates who may even be in the audience today as they read letters from their families about what graduation means to them. Este día es un día muy especial, no solamente para los que se gradúan hoy, sino también para sus familias. Por favor, vean este corte video para escuchar cómo algunos estudiantes graduados Leen cartas de su familia explicando el significado de graduarse hoy. Join me in watching this video. Um, I wanted to go back and get an education so I could provide for my family. You have to have a degree. So I went back to college. I did it for my daughter. I did it because I wanted to be an example for her. Well, I've always wanted to be a nurse. To be a nurse, you need a degree, but you know, I love school. I've always loved school, and I always wanted to make my pr my family proud. That's what motivated me was having the opportunity, being thankful for being able to graduate and go to school. The whole purpose of me going to nursing school was that I wanted to do mission work. There's just a place in my heart for people who have been kind of misplaced. The letter is from my mother. This is from my husband. This one is from my dad. This letter is from uh, my parents. This letter is from my mom. Here is Sochi. Sonia, you are an inspiration to Bella and me. Liani. It's to Jonathan. Hija, le doy gracias a Dios por permitir de ser parte de mi vida desde muy chiquita. Aprendiste que la vida no es fácil. You have worked so hard and you jumped through all the hoops and hurdles that life has has placed in front of you. We are so very proud that you have achieved your goal. Your planning and diligence have brought you to this point. Being a full-time mother, loving dog mom, an amazing wife, all while working a full-time job and taking a full class schedule. I cannot express how proud of you I am for you getting your degree. Just remember, we are so proud of you, Jonathan, and love you so much. Coming from another country and culture and lifestyle was not easy, but you managed to overcome everything. Quizá no fue una mujer ejemplar, pero a mi manera traté de que aprendieras a luchar y ser fuerte. You always put a smile on my face, no matter what the situation. Congratulations, don't stop here. Please keep this spirit in all that you do and use the attitude in your daily duties. Aunque te caigas, levántate que esa caída te ayudará a ser más fuerte. With everything that we have been through, you have been my support system. I cannot express it in word how proud of you I am. Jonathan, remember that your family will always be here for you. Use each opportunity to learn and continue to grow in your knowledge and productivity. The milestone is just the first of many that I know you will overcome. My doctor ballerina chef is on her way to making her dreams come true. You are a great role model for Bella and getting your degree is showing her what an accomplishment it is. 
de siempre dar lo mejor de ti. All the best of your future in nursing. Love, mom. We love you, mom and dad. Cheers to you, Sonia. Bill and I love you and are proud of you. Love, Joey. I love you, and no matter what, I will always be proud of you. Love, mommy. That was so sweet. Felicito mucho por todo tu ser. Logros y también sé que así como eras buena hija también vas a ser muy buena esposa y madre. Que Dios te bendiga. Those are simply a few of the stories represented here today. I'm proud of each of you and what it's taken for you to get to this point. So now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing please rise? President Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. I certify that they've completed all the requirements for this degree as prescribed by College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, graduates. Rosana Perdomo Nahera, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, highest honors. <laughs> Jessica Rivera, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa, highest honors. <laughs> Shanae Noel Scribner, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa, highest honors. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Science please rise? <laughs> President Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Science. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for this degree as prescribed by College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees for the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on the candidates the degree of Associate of Applied Science. Congratulations, graduates. Linus Daku Bebang, Nursing. Christina Benson, Nursing. Lakeisha Blakey, Nursing. Jasmine Blanton, Nursing. Kina Bonilla, Criminal Justice. John Bradley, Petrochemical Process Technology, Honors.
Errol Bradshaw, Occupational Safety and Health Technology, Honors. Alan Burley, Petrochemical Process Technology. Shelby Burns, Nursing. Brianna Byerly, Nursing. Michelle Chapa, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. Emily Lopez, Nursing. Jabriel Lusk, Petrochemical Process Technology. Kene Chanel Mayhorn, Nursing. Cody McFarland, Cybersecurity, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Tara Mead, Nursing. Brittany Christian Austin, Nursing. Brooklyn Clemens, Graphic Design, Web Design, Web Design Certificate, Phi Theta Kappa Certificate, Highest Honors. Leah Clauser, Nursing. Carter Cole, Nursing. Shannon Corson, Nursing. Jennifer Crump, Graphic Design, Web Design, Graphic Design Certificate, Web Design Certificate, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Ronald Decker, Petrochemical Process Technology, Honors. Dennis DeClowett, Jr., Petrochemical Process Technology. Alexia Marlin Del Fierro, Health Information Management, Medical Coding Certificate. Sarafina Esquivel, Health Information Management, Medical Coding Certificate. Amy Felix, Nursing. Sandra Fernandez, Health Information Management. Stacy Flowers, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa, Highest Honors. <laughs> Mohamed Fofana, Nursing. <laughs> Brandon Goodwin, Petrochemical Process Technology, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Brandon Green, Petrochemical Process Technology. Yeah. Samantha Guerrero, Business. Yeah. Kelly Guidry, Nursing. Billy Guzman, Nursing. Georgette Lambie, Nursing. Corian Jones, Petrochemical Process Technology. Pacey Jones, Petrochemical Process Technology.
Christopher Lacombs, Biotechnology, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Jordan Lewis, Petrochemical Process Technology, Honors. Cody Longoria, Petrochemical Process Technology, Honors. Maisha Mitchell, Nursing. Lisa Muncy, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. Gabriella Rose Morales, Nursing. Nicole Moturi, Nursing. Sebastian Nolasco, Petrochemical Process Technology. Sochil Akoa, Nursing. Vanessa Ortiz, Nursing. Carson Lance Odie. Welding Technology. Marcus Pinnell McCormick, Petrochemical Process Technology, Honors. Brianna Party, Petrochemical Process Technology. Jonathan Payne, Petrochemical Process Technology. Amy Kathleen Ferris, Nursing, Honors. <laughs> Chloe Potts, Nursing, Honors. Amanda Ratcliffe, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. Latifa Trishan Reeves, Nursing. <laughs> Thomas Reistetter, Petrochemical Process Technology. <laughs> Latrina Robert, Nursing. Jamie Amanda Robichaud, Nursing. Orlando Sanchez, Petrochemical Process Technology, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Alexandria Signore, Nursing. Brittany Simpson, Nursing. Aleli Solis, Medical Assisting, Medical Assisting Certificate. Arlie Spain IV, Petrochemical Process Technology. Corwin Sprunger, Nursing. James Stevenson, Nursing. Stacy Lynn Swan, Petrochemical Process Technology, Highest Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Cole Thrash, Petrochemical Process Technology. <laughs> Josiane Kiem, Health Information Management, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. <laughs> Raven Toller, Nursing.
Tyler Tracy, Petrochemical Process Technology. Daryl Trevino, Nursing. Valerie Trimble Williams, Graphic Design, Web Design. Julie Vaughn, Health Information Management, Medical Coding. Courtney Walker, Nursing, Honors. Jason Warren, Nursing, Highest Honors. Jennifer Williams, Petrochemical Process Technology. Will the candidates for a certificate please rise? President Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for a certificate. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for the award prescribed by College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates a certificate. Congratulations. Congratulations. Angela Way, Cosmetology, Phi Theta Kappa. Yaritza Alvarez Herrera, Pharmacy Technician, Phi Theta Kappa. Misty Autry, 2D and 3D Modeling. Ashley Bryant, Cosmetology, Phi Theta Kappa. Victoria Castillo, Aesthetic Specialty. Cassandra Cervantes, Aesthetic Specialty. Rebecca Cormier. Cosmetology. <laughs> Rafael Antonios Correas, Pharmacy Technician. <laughs> Christian Curtis, Pharmacy Technician. <laughs> Cassandra Fuentes, Aesthetic Specialty. Kenetra Ray Gibson, Vocational Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Nadia Gomez, Cosmetology. <laughs> Robert Xavier Gomez, Pharmacy Technician. Caitlin Gordon, Cosmetology Instructor. Carol Grion, Cosmetology Instructor, Phi Theta Kappa.
Rachel Gutierrez, Pharmacy Technician, Phi Theta Kappa. Ghislaine Hambali, Professional Bookkeeper. Taylor Hoke, Pharmacy Technician. Heba Iqbal, Aesthetic Specialty, Phi Theta Kappa. Emily Kassler, Cosmetology Instructor. Jose Lopez Salas, 2D and 3D Modeling, Phi Theta Kappa. Kennedy Elise Marcus, Aesthetic Specialty. Vianelle Martinez, Aesthetic Specialty. Alexa Madrano, Aesthetic Specialty. Marissa Mancada, Aesthetic Specialty. Helen Alicia Moody, Cosmetology Instructor, Phi Theta Kappa. Kennedy Munson, Welding. Joanne Nopens, Occupational Safety and Health Technology, Phi Theta Kappa. Ariana Nunez, Aesthetic Specialty. Giselle Sofia Ramos, Cosmetology. Holland Rawls, Aesthetic Specialty. Eric Rolando Reyes, Welding Technology. Randy Rodriguez, Occupational Safety and Health Technology, Phi Theta Kappa. Drew Rogers, Web Design. Andrea Salinas, Aesthetic Specialty. Rajni Sharon, Cosmetology Instructor. Savan Svai, Cosmetology. Bryn Talley, Aesthetic Specialty. Kirsten Thomas, Aesthetic Specialty. <laughs> Katina Vargas Estrella, Professional Bookkeeper. <laughs> Nadia Vasquez Reyes, Professional Bookkeeper. <laughs> Phoenix Velez, Cosmetology. Aviant Young, Aesthetic Specialty.
I uh, was asked to share just a personal anecdote about uh, uh, me. Um, I truly believe that I am just like you, and you are just like me. I am a uh, first generation student, college student. I attended a community college. I received a two year degree and then immediately went to work, had um, uh, got married, had a couple of, uh, of uh, children, and then while working, went back and back and back uh, to get uh, uh, further degrees while working. I do remember, I do remember, it's been a few years ago, but I do remember what it was like to uh, step onto the campus for the first time, uh, what it was like to go into a classroom and find people that were older than me there, and I'm thinking, well, that just blew the curve. The, uh, I do remember those days, right? I remember going to uh, classes, forgetting my books, forgetting my pencils and paper, I remember those days. I remember the hard days of after leaving classes, going to work, trying to spend time with the family, all while trying to make, make uh, the efforts worthwhile. Uh, I am here to tell you that it does pay off. It will pay off. For some of you, you're going to be going to the universities transfer bound. Um, some of you just completed that bachelor's degree in nursing, so congratulations to you. By the way, that is the uh, only, uh, College of the Mainland has the ability to offer up to five four-year degrees. We have chosen to start with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and we will be uh, creating some additional uh, four-year degree programs soon. But again, congratulations to our, our Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Many of you will be going directly into the workforce, whether it's in P-TECH, nursing, uh, business, whatever. But just remember that this is just the first or second phase of your journey. It doesn't mean it's over. It doesn't mean you can just stop now. Just keep, keep plugging along, keep working. Take care of your family. Take care of yourself. Just remember your priorities. And always, 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 keep your family and, and, and your faith uh, frontmost in your mind. So at this point, uh, students, I would ask you to stand. We are at that point in the ceremony where uh, tradition truly is significant. You have this uh, little dangly thing called a tangle, tassel. Uh, when you move that from the right to the left, it signifies that you've completed this journey. So ladies and gentlemen, let's move that tassel. And congratulations, graduates. Y'all be seated for a moment, please. Students, be seated. All right, uh, this is for our uh, audience members. Uh, we, uh, we're about to uh, close the ceremony, but I, 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 uh, I, I need your help and your indulgence, please. The, um, the temptation is to immediately run to the doors and, uh, you know, so that you can do whatever it is when you run to the doors. But, uh, we're going to respectfully request that you kind of stay seated and, and uh, let, the, uh, let the podium, let the uh, faculty, staff, and the students exit first. And students, you can meet your families out front. There is a place on the side if, if you want any additional photographs while you're still in your regalia. But uh, we, uh, we so very much appreciate the honor of having uh, been here with you today. 
So in closing, one last time, let's join in celebration for our College of the Mainland Class of 2023. Thank you, and everyone have a safe journey home. Thank you. Thank you.